Hello everyone, this is Marvel Ira, she who bears the right of prima squitae, bringing you episode 16 of my Let's Play with Better Than Wolves. Uh, I have a few more projects in the work at the moment, but uh, one thing I've, I've realized while designing them is that I really need a consistent water source. I, I can't be like with my hemp farm over here where I'm just grabbing any nearby available water source and uh, positioning things because of that. I need to really have um, a consistent water source that I can just pull from and use at leisure. Um, for this, I've decided I'm going to build a water tower. Um, and this water tower is going to be in this area here. Its the sole purpose is going to be raising a single stream of water using screw pumps up to a quite a considerable height. Um, probably, I'm, I'm close to sea level here at Y64. I'll probably, I if I can, if I can get the resources going, go up to um, somewhere close to Y level 100, but um, with the latest additions to Better Than Wolves, um, there's no real coordinates in here, so I won't really know it's 100. I'm just going to guess roughly. But um, this is the area that I'm going to build in, and uh, I have been collecting resources off of camera that uh, you can see here. I've got some interesting design choices I've, I've decided on here, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, as you can see here, I've uh, laid a little bit of groundwork for our water tower. I've gotten a um, water, uh, water mill set up here. Um, and uh, our first screw pump is in place and powered and um, starting to push water up just one block at a time. Um, I have also laid out a little bit more of a pattern and um, I'll lay out the next few bits here um, so you can see. Now what I'm going to do here, actually I didn't need to put that one there, silly morph. I'm going to make sure that the water does not flow back on itself as I go. Actually, thinking about it, I want a stone slab there. That's what I want there. So if I take out this block here that's um, blocking the water flow, and get out here, and take that block away, look! We have water flow! Hooray! And if we put another pump there and repeat the process, dee dee dee. we also want to make sure to put one there so that water doesn't flow down. Oh dear. On air, even. Doo -doo -doo over here. Okay, now we can open things up. Off we go again. This is the basic pattern that is going to be used for um, the uh, for for the uh, water tower. We, as you can see, we have a gearbox here, and um, if we just extend this line out, it's it follows a simple pattern. Let me get my gearbox back here. It follows a simple pattern. If you have this gearbox with, it goes up one axle to get to a screw pump. Then you'll have an axle and a gearbox. And this gearbox will go up two to get to a screw pump. And an axle and a gearbox. And then we'll say axle, gearbox, axle, effectively going up three. So that's two more steps higher. And at this gearbox, we turn to make a square. And we just keep going up and up and up. And that is the plan. All right, um, I will get to building this water tower. Um, and probably cut here to do it in a time lapse. I'll be back in a moment, guys.
All right, and there we have it. Um, I have built my water tower to the height that I was aiming for. And while not all of the facade or the decoration of it is quite complete, you can see some spaces at the top there, we're getting there. The main thing that's holding me back from that at this point are these blocks right here. These are wicker blocks, and in addition to looking lovely, uh, they um, are quite expensive. Uh, they're made from sugarcane, which is one of the reasons I built this sugarcane farm in the first place. Speaking of which, it's time to harvest. Um, what The way you make wicker is you take four of these sugarcane, and you put them just in a square like that. That'll give you wicker. Um, you can turn it back into sugarcane, what have you. Um, if you take four of these wicker panels and put them in a four square again, then you'll get the wicker block, which again can be converted back and forth. It's just a storage medium for sugarcane in the end, but um, using it as a decorative block can be quite expensive because, well, each one of those blocks is basically 16 sugarcane. It takes a while to acquire that much material, but uh, soon it will be finished. Also, on the outside of uh, the tower here, you can see these things. Oh my god, what are these things? This is a pair of stakes and uh, some string between them. In version uh, 4.21 of uh, Better Than Wolves, Flower Child kind of did some modifications to the F3 menu. Um, if you'll notice with all the numbers up in the corner, the XYZ coordinates aren't there anymore. Uh, the light level coordinates aren't there anymore. Um, so this really puts some great purpose to the Ender Spectacles, as I've shown before in my video, which um, show you where it's dark enough for monsters to spawn. Um, since you don't have that data anymore in the F3 menu, you now have an in-game way of checking it out. The stakes um, are kind of an answer, one of the many answers, to not having the XYZ coordinates. They do a very good job of measuring distance. Now, and they can measure distance in five different directions. All you need to do is, um, well, let's pick this up here and I can show you. Where did it go? There it is. Okay, I don't have a texture right now, so you can't quite see it in my inventory. But I do, in my hand at the moment, have a stake. All you really need to do is place down two stakes um, and um, right-click it. You know, you need to have them in a line, then you right-click it with string in your hand. And I guess I didn't pick up all of the string, so I will be right back to get a little bit more string to show you this. All right, after a little bit of experimentation, um, I found out what my issue was here. Um, it turns out to place um, string onto stakes with uh, it vertical like this, you need to be standing behind the stake. So, what we do here is we just right click on the stake with our string, and you can see the string in my hotbar, it got used up some. This is how you can use it to measure distances, however much string it takes. Um, is how far apart the two stakes are, and uh, yeah, there you go. You can see the string is attached to the stake once again. I picked a height that I liked, I uh, made my stakes here, and I completed the water tower to this height. Um, as you can see here, I've this is the top of the water tower I've got going at the moment. I've just kind of got it in a basin, and uh, I will use, I will either make the tower taller or put out our, um, aqueducts, that's the word, aqueducts from it, to going to where I need to go. At this point, there are two places I really anticipate it, n anticipate it needing to go. One is to that area over there. Um, as discussed in previous episodes, that's the area that's going to house my mob farm. Um, it uh, needs some water flows both for pushing the monsters towards the saws, as well as um, moving the items along once the monsters are dead. Um, another place I'm going to need water is going to be a cow or pig farm. Maybe it will be a cow and pig farm, which is going to be my next major project. Um, I don't know exactly yet where I'm going to place it, but um, it will probably be somewhere in this vicinity. It doesn't make sense to have it entirely too far away from here yet. Um, but uh, yeah, those, that is the next plan. I also have another project that I am working on, and uh, let's go show you that now. And this here is my other project. 
Uh, this is a the beginnings of a wall I am building. Um, the idea for a wall came about um, after um, a rather energetic uh, live stream I did one Friday night um, where I built my automatic hemp farm. Um, I worked really hard on it and um, as I finished completing uh, the farm itself, a creeper came by and nearly nearly blew it up. To which um, one of the my viewers at the time, um, the fabled flower child, um, said uh, the following uh, um, words, but I admit I am paraphrasing, uh, build a wall noob, is what he said. Um, so I am beginning to build a rather extensive wall here. Um, it will be basically, I'm aiming to have it be about 144 blocks all around the, where the center of my mob farm is going to be, and this is the internals of the wall here. And I'm just kind of extending it out as I go. Um, basically, um, that distance, if I can light up the area inside the wall once it's built, um, that distance will um, make the, uh, um, the, the output of my mob farm just that greater. Um, because I plan to have everything inside the walls lit up. Um, right now, I'm just kind. The reason it's sunken down in this trench here is I'm trying to get it on an even level all the way around, so I don't have to worry about changing elevations in my design. My de my design's not very set up for that at the moment. But yeah, um, it's going along, and uh, that's my basic design for it. It should mostly repeat this pattern until I get to one of the corners. Um, and in that case, then I will have to figure out something to do. Maybe some kind of round turret, what have you. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much what I have been doing here. Uh, that's all for this episode of my Let's Play with Better Than Wolves. Pig Farm, Cow Farm, that's next on the agenda. And uh, more Valyra 